Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wait, wait, wait. Let me do it the right way. <clears throat> wow. No, that was, that was horrible. Pokemon Go Fest 2021 has been announced today. And, uh, yeah. You guys are going to be very excited if you have not already heard about it. If you have, if you don't follow Pokemon Go on Twitter, if you don't have a Twitter, come to me. I look out for you. Pokemon Go is celebrating Pokemon's 25th anniversary. Also, Pokemon celebrating its 5th anniversary. So they are looking out for us and... The price of the ticket, which the ticket is available right now in the shop for $5. Instead of $15, the ticket is five whole freaking dollars. That is not a lot. I mean, to me, the $15 wasn't even a, a lot. But in some regions, it is a little bit more expensive than, uh, than it is in the U.S. Other regions, is whatever the price of the ticket is plus a bunch of taxes and all that other stuff but uh pokemon go has combined not combined uh got a partnership with google uh right now google pay where you get special bonuses for paying earlier than uh if you pay for a decent amount of coins or whatever it is or tickets included by the 30th you get four times the the play points so if you're an Android user, this this is definitely uh, this is this is definitely a time that you want to purchase your ticket so that way you get more points so you can buy more coins later. So yeah, I'm gonna buy mine right now. So the event so the event takes place uh, July 17th and 18th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. I believe last year it was 12 hours each day. Or 10 hours each day, but this year is only 10 hours. I mean, uh, eight hours a piece, which is fine. I'm gonna still be out there for every single one of those hours from beginning to the end. So, uh, yeah, I will be at Disney Springs for the first day. So, if you guys see me at Disney Springs, come say hi to your boy. Now, you don't have to buy the ticket to get some of the rewards for this game. I mean, for this, uh, for Go Fest 2021. And for non-ticket holders, you will still get the habitats, which is jungle, desert mountain, ocean beach, and cave. So what they would do like they did last year, they would do one hour of jungle, one hour of desert mountain, uh, the third would be ocean beach, and then the fourth would be cave, and then they will reset. So if you miss the Pokemon during that hour, you'll be have a second chance that day to get that Pokemon. Now, for a ticketed event or for non-ticket holders for Go uh, for Go Fest 2021, uh, you will get Pokemon spawning like Scyther, Apom, Froakie, and more. For the jungle, for Desert Mountain, you will get Skarmory, Shieldon, Hippopotas, and more. Uh, beach, uh, Ocean Beach, you will get Jutini, Swablu, Ala Mola 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 Mola, and then for the cave, you will get Rock and Roller, Rolling Rock. Uh, Galarian Stunfisk, Dino, 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 and more. And that's spawning in the wild. So you have chances of getting the shiny. And then for raids, we will have Hitmontop, Kranidos, and Dino. Another way to get Dino. Uh, Galarian Ponyta and Galarian Zigzagoon will have themed costumes. So I'm going to they're going to be wearing like some sort of band or musician clothing costume and that can be shiny usually they come out with a costume version of already of already pokemon that already have shinies and then release costume versions with shinies as well so you can get your costume galarian zigzagoon or ponyta you will also get chimeco krigata ardino which will be a new shiny will be appearing in the wild because they're a musical pokemon and Chimeco, you want to make sure you catch all of them. as a thousand Stardust per catch. Also, Ardino, I believe, is 1,500? You get it. Okay, Ardino and Chimeco are the Pokemon you definitely want to catch if you are not a ticketed event. I mean, even if you are 
holding the ticket, you still want to catch these two Pokemon. Star Piece is on. Star does for days. All right. And then we will have costumed Pikachu. One's wearing like a, uh, they're both wearing like rock and roll, but one is like a, a female attire with the like ballerina. And the other one's wearing like a rock and roll black kind of outfit. So, and oh, every Pikachu can be shiny. They always come out with new Pikachu costume Pokemon, and these can be shiny. And then like I mentioned earlier, our new shinies will be Wizmer, Chimeco, that's such a beautiful shiny, Adino, which will have a Mega, and also is another beautiful shiny, and Tempo will be spawning in the wild for new shinies. But if you do not have a ticket, if you are playing, if you are a free to play player, and you are gonna take advantage of this event, the chances of you getting a shiny aren't as high as people with a ticket. So again, it's only five dollars. You probably spend five dollars on something you shouldn't like. I don't know, McDonald's or something like that. So five dollars on the ticketed event, which you can go out and exercise, catch some shinies, enjoy the day with friends who probably do have the ticket. I recommend it. I guarantee you. All right. Now, if you are a ticket holder, which I am already, I'm just gonna read it off. Help Professor Willow and team leader and the team leaders put on a, an incredible concert celebration by choosing between certain Pokemon to join the festivities. Complete this special research for special rewards, including an encounter with a, a, a mythical Pokemon, which we all know, or we're not supposed to know. It is uh, Meloda, Mel Melo yeah, Meloda. That's how you pronounce it. And then with that, you will get uh, a shirt avatar um, item, an exclusive avatar pose, which I'm sure will be like something musical or maybe you'll be standing like Melota. And then this is the thing that I am kind of, well not kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering what it is. If you take a snapshot, you will get a special Pokemon. So some people are already speculating that it may be Cacleon, uh, Cacleon, Cacleon. Which that would be an awesome way to bring uh, Kecleon into the game because we have yet to have it, and I think it's a Gen 2 or 3 Pokemon, and we still don't have it. It's not in the Pokédex for nobody. Or they could be bringing back the shiny uh, uh, Schmilgo for those who didn't get it. I got mine. But for those who didn't get it, you may have another chance of getting it. We don't know yet. They probably will announce it. Uh, right before or we probably won't know until the day of Pikachu Rockstar and Pikachu Popstar. That's what it is So you will get a choice to pick between the two if you want pop music I'm assuming or rock and roll Will determine on which Pikachu you get so with that being said if they give you the option to choose which one You may only get that specific Pikachu in game So you may want to catch multiple and then have somebody that you're with choose the other, so that way you can trade if y'all get two shinies. And the music uh, will be produced by, I'm, I'm probably gonna butcher his name, Junichi Masada, M Masuda. Junichi Masuda. And then not only will you get Pikachu uh, and Galarian Ponyta and Galarian uh, uh, Zigzagoon, you will also get Gardevoir and Flygon also wearing costumed Pokemon. Uh, po uh, costumed uh, attire. But I don't think they will be shiny. So... I'm hoping they make them... Uh, well, at least Gardevoir evolvable. Because, you know, usually costumed Pokemon can't evolve. And it does get a Mega, so... Maybe? And just like last year, for each hour we will have a goal to do like catch a specific type of pokemon or to do so many raids in that hour to get a special bonus like double catch xp double catch stardust or uh egg hatch distance being reduced something like that so we have that option as well for this is for again for ticketed uh trainers and then not only will we get the pokemon i mentioned earlier for each habitat for ticket events uh Trainers for the jungle, we will also get the unknown F and unknown G. And if you're wondering why we got F and G, it is because, well, <laughs> GoFest kind of 
but those are also notes and music. Uh, we will get Lucario Chatot, which is a regional, and I do not have it in my decks, so that is freaking awesome. We will have Leafeon spawning in the wild, and Superior, so that's Stardust. Lucario, uh, uh, Lucario, Leafeon, and Superior are second evolution Pokemon, so that's Stardust right there on top of telling you put your star pieces on and then for the desert mountain we will have Larion, another evolution unknown f and g tyranitar flygon and throw and i'll get thrown a bit ocean beach we will get gyarados vaporeon azumarill and unknown f and g and sock all right you know how much stardust is going to be earned on this day, I'm definitely going to have to pick up before and after picture. And then for Cave, another my favorite EV of uh, Evolution, Umbreon will be spawning in a while. Unknown F and G again, Gardevoir, Epsol, and Garvantula. Now, Epsol can be shiny. Don't have that shiny. And then we have the F and G. Those will be shiny for this event. During event hours, Pokemon appearing in a while and attracted to incense will have an increased chance of being shiny. It will be easier to discover shiny Pokemon in the wild and those attracted by incense on Saturday and Sunday. Shiny, unknown F, shiny throw, shiny sock will be appearing in Pokemon Go debuting another shiny, or another group of shiny should I say. So many shiny, so much stardust, and XP, of course, if you do it the right way. And then day two. I'm gonna have to make another video about everything broken down. On day two, specifically for raids, so make sure you guys grind as hard as you can on Saturday, because Saturday, uh, Sunday, the Pokemon will still be there, but the, the uh, increased shiny rate will be lowered. I don't know if it's gonna be lower to normal, but it won't be as high as it will be on Saturday. Because they on Sunday, they want you to definitely raid, and here's why. And this is Sunday, July 18th, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. local time. Grind the host eight hours if you can. Sunday gameplay will be focused on raids, and some of your favorites will be returning for this epic celebration. Stay tuned for more information. Miss any Pokemon on the first day of the event? Don't worry. All the Pokemon appearing more frequently in the wild on Saturday will be appearing again on Sunday. So again, keep that in mind. And for that is for all trainers. As for all trainers, but if you have a ticket, that's you get the same thing. But when you do your raids, you will get an additional 10,000 XP. Per raid, and I'm gonna assume that's for any raid one, three, and five star. Uh, you'll get an extra 10,000 XP per raid. That's a lot of XP. Please have on your star, uh, your uh, your lucky eggs, people. Please spend gem photo disc to earn up to 10 raid passes. These can be used in person, of course. So you're gonna you walk around anyway, might as well do a raid while you're there. Complete time research to earn up to eight remote passes. It's a lot of remote passes, remote raid passes. All right, now, of course this can be used from any invite raid that you get. And then you will also be able to pick up a free bundle that will give you three free remote raid passes. And that'll be available in the shop on the 18th. All Pokemon that were attracted to incense on Saturday will also be attracted on Sunday. Now I'm hoping they keep the boosted shiny rate for that. At least, it's more. It's a, a higher increase on Saturday than there is, you know, for the other Pokemon. Now, with that being said, I'm not sure if they are going to have other Pokemon spawning, or not other Pokemon spawning, other Pokemon in raids for this specific day, because they don't mention they don't mention which Pokemon are going to be in raids. Are we going to get the same from the day before? which were the Hitmontop, Kranidos, and Dino, Galarian Ponyta, and Galarian Zigzagoon with the costumes. Honestly, they can keep Dino and Zigzagoon and Ponyta 
fine. But I'm hoping they have other Pokemon that make you more excited for day two to raid more. That way <laughs> they can take more money, I guess. And then for both days, all trainers, non-ticketed and ticketed trainers, will you can expect to see photos in the today tab like they did last year. You scroll scroll through, you'll see pictures of Zoe Two Dot and her husband and other people. I'm sure she'll probably be featured here again. Um, all lower modules will be three. Oh my God, three hours. So you can pop on one. Somebody pop on another one. Three hours later, the music that was produced by I'm sorry, I'm say his name again. Uh, Junichi Masuda uh, will music will be playing for both days as well, and we will get half hatch distance on all of our eggs. So if you, I would say start off the day, uh, maybe well, start off the day with some twelve Ks and put put them in incubators at the beginning, like as soon as 10, 10, 10.01, put some incubators, uh, some ten Ks or twelve Ks or whatever you have in your uh, in incubators. And go ahead and and start hatching. And in 7K eggs, we will have Iggly Buff, can be shiny. Chingling, which is the baby form of Chimeko, I uh, one of that will be shiny. That would be awesome. Adino, which will be a new shiny, and more. And then if you are a ticketed holder, you get on both days for sure. Open gifts or spend Pokestops to get your special event stickers like they did last year. I had no idea what they were. And then take snapshots on both days to get your special surprise. And then unknown FNG, which will be, or which can be shiny. Not will be, it can be shiny now. And then like I mentioned earlier, go uh, Google Play is, uh, is the official sponsor of this year's GoFest. So trainers can expect fun surprises and exclusive perks. Plus trainers using Android devices on Saturday, July 17th will be eligible for an exclusive sponsored gift to help power their Pokemon Go Fest experience. I'm an Android user, so if you guys are using Apple, I mean, you don't probably care about this part. And then we have a print at home kit returning this year for trainers around the world. Trainers in the United States and Canada will be able to purchase a new Pokemon Go Fest t-shirt. All right, and the rest of it is telling you how to purchase your ticket. Just log into Pokemon Go. Go down to the shop, and it's literally like the first thing right up under you. Click on that, and it gives you the option to pay how you want to pay for your GoFest ticket. I'm excited. I hope you guys are. Let me know if you are. If you are excited, what are you excited for? What shiny do you can't you can't wait to get? Uh, what are you hoping was going to be in raids on day two? How much Stardust and XP do you think you can gain in those two days? And if your answer is not a lot, it needs to be a lot. All right? All right. On that note, it's your boy, Pokey Games. I'm out.